Hey friends, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review and a new human hair resource review that I think you're gonna be thrilled to learn about. This is Willow by Aniola Hair, and Willow is gorgeous. I can't wait to tell you all about Willow, about Aniola Hair, how she came to be a wig maker, and something awesome that I think she's doing for the hair loss community. If you wanna know more, then stick around. I would like to thank Aniola Hair for reaching out to me, for sharing Willow with me, and for allowing me to learn a little bit more about their business. I just absolutely love it when a wig sister creates a solution to her own hair problems that also helps the rest of us and I think you guys are going to be really thrilled to learn about this as well before I start talking about Aniola hair and Willow I'd like you to look at Willow from all sides I want you to keep in mind I curled this piece this is a straight style it does not dry wavy I do have a, I think I have a video showing it air dried I'll make sure that's tacked on the end of this video this has been curled I actually use my Beach Waver B, no, Beach Waver 3B waver to put waves in this piece and I did film a video so if that video is out already I'll make sure it's linked below if it is not out already stay tuned for that because I had so much fun getting volume and waves in this piece and that's the other thing I want you to be aware of this looks like it's a voluminous style that is only because I put waves in it it is a straight sleek flat style so you can wear this flat to the head flat on top you don't have to wear this with volume I'm just really thrilled to be able to show that you can get volume out of this if you want to curl it with a waver that really does work wonders on putting volume in just about any wig that you can curl Aniola hair is located in Australia but she ships worldwide and shipping is free worldwide so don't sweat it if you're in the United States or in the United Kingdom and you're thinking I would love to purchase Willow because this is a stock piece that she carries but you would be worried about the shipping from Australia don't worry about that shipping is free I also love that she offers a $100 discount to anyone with hair loss who purchases a wig from her. She does have some information at her website. She'll send you a form to complete. This is not an insurance claim. She is just wanting to help the hair loss community and this is the way that she is doing it, by offering a discount to those with hair loss. She has also given me a discount code to share with all of you to save $50 off of a purchase. I'll make sure that code is in the description below. So, she just wants to help, clearly, and her prices are amazing for human hair wigs. For this quality, I really cannot believe the pricing. I debated, honestly, about curling this like this because I know that some of you don't love this look, and I'm afraid you might harshly judge this piece because of how I chose to curl it, but I've never put waves in a human hair wig before like this for video. I've done it personally, and I wanted my wig sisters who worry that human hair will be too flat for them to see that you can actually get volume in a human hair wig as well with a waver. Um, just a quick backstory, please indulge me. So I started wearing wigs into 2018 and I started wearing synthetic wigs. Synthetic do tend to have a lot more volume than human hair, especially wigs with permatees. And before I really got into human hair at all, I had gotten to the point where I was starting to love the more voluminous uh, synthetic pieces. So when I started wearing human hair, and I, I interchange them, I wear them all, sometimes I just wish there was more volume in the human hair pieces that I have. That's why I chose to put a waves in this one today for this video because I want those of you who want human hair but are so worried that it's not going to be enough volume for you to know that you can get volume in a human hair wig. You don't need permatease for that. I just really thought that would be helpful to a lot of you out there. Now on her website, this is listed as 100% premium virgin human hair. It is a 12 inch length. 150% density, although I'll tell you guys, this doesn't feel, you know, density is kind of a subjective thing. There is no standard for wig density. So a lot of times you'll see 130 density. 
This feels like 130 density to me based on some of the other wigs that I have. It feels fuller than some wigs and not as full as others. So you got to take those density claims by with a grain of salt because there's no standard for them. This also um, has a 13 by 6 lace frontal. It says on there glueless lace front wig. A 13 by 6 is not always glueless. I will tell you that right now. I'll show you inside the cap. So if you're brand new to wig wearing, a 13 inch lace front can be challenging. I, in the beginning of my wig wearing journey, not beginning, beginning of my human hair wig wearing journey, there's that lace. You can see it goes all the way from here behind my ear to the other side. And then you've got all of this parting space. It is a really nice cap. There's the extended nape. It's nice and soft. We've got hook adjusters. We've got a comb in the back. And then we have, she actually, this came with a band. I'll finish my story about 13 inch lace fronts in just a moment. Let me finish inside the cap. So let's talk about putting a band on a cap. I don't need the band. This fits me really, really well. I'm never going to be able to get this in on camera. Okay, there I did it. So bands, and I have it up, upside down. Holy smokes, you guys. Let me get this on here. All right, well, that was interesting. So I got the band on. What I love is that it comes with a band which you can take off if you don't need it. I take it off, I don't need it, it fits me great. But if it doesn't fit you great or you want some more security, you can put that band on and it includes two holes. So you can adjust the band to fit you the best. It also has silicone on the underside to help grip your head. Here's the reason why a band can help with a 13 inch lace front. As you saw on the lace, the lace goes all the way beyond the ears. So the lace goes all the way back to here. That means there is no tension on this lace. If you don't either don't wear a band with it or you don't cut the lace back far enough on the sides, you will need to adhere that with that lace to get it to lay flat. I do not need to adhere this lace. It lays perfectly flat. I will show you why in a moment. Let's finish the band discussion. So you've got the band on. You take, I'm actually going to take my wig grip off. It'll make this easier. You take, you put the band on your head first. Then you pull the wig over your head and over that band. Then you slide it back into place. You get the wig situated. And now that band is creating more tension on that lace to help the lace to lay flat. That is one reason why bands are included on 13 inch lace fronts often to create this tension on here to pull it back some so that that lace will lay flat. Now when I first started wearing human hair wigs and I discovered 13 inch lace fronts, I thought they always had to be adhered. I had a lot of trouble with them because I didn't learn how to cut them back far enough on the sides. So here's a tip that I'm going to give you if you have some bio hair. If you don't have bio hair, lace 13 inch lace fronts can be awesome because that lace comes all the way down to here and it has hair on it. So you can adhere that and it will mimic a hairline. But for someone like me who does have a little bit of bio hair right here that I don't buzz so that I can blend it with my wigs, that can cause a little bit of a problem adhering that lace. It can kind of get in the way. I've learned that when I'm cutting the lace, so I'm cutting it, I'm cutting it. When I get down to about here, I actually cut it back pretty far so that I can pull my own bio hair out on the sides and blend it with that wig. And then not only does it look really natural on the sides, but I don't have to adhere that lace anymore because you can't see it. So that's my tip for you. I will make a video showing exactly how I do this, where I cut the lace and then I cut it back. You will lose a little bit of the hair right here on that lace, but if you don't want to adhere your wigs, but you keep finding these 13 inch lace fronts, that is a way that you can make them work for you. Now, like I said, this wig dries air dry straight. So I washed it, I air dried it, it doesn't dry with any kind of a wave, it dries really nice and straight. So I think this could be a piece that you can wear unstyled if that's a look that you like. That's another thing that I hear from a lot of people who are new to wig wearing, they're a little bit worried that human hair wigs will be a lot of work. They really 
most of them in my experience are not a lot of work if you can air dry a wig and not have to style it that is huge because then you can just wash and dry let it air dry and now you can wear it in addition putting waves or something in it like this this is now going to hold for weeks depending on how much i wear this wig what conditions I wear it in, I will store it on a wig head so that it's not getting all crimped up by laying in a box and then I can just throw it on whenever I want. I'm not going to have to restyle this frequently. This does come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And right now, she only has a small and a medium left. That doesn't mean that she's not going to make more. This is a stock piece for her. So if you go to her website and you're looking for this piece in a certain size and you don't see that option available, message her through her website. Just an eyelash just literally fell into my eye. <laughs> message her through her website and let her know what you're looking for. She'll get one made for you. So let me wrap this up. Eniola Hair is a human hair online retailer based out of Australia that ships worldwide. She started her business because number one, she really struggled with her own hair as a youth and discovered wigs and thought that was a way I can get around the hair that I'm not loving. And then her sister, I believe was diagnosed with brain cancer and she, she ended up shaving her head in solidarity with her sister and really saw firsthand what it's like to not have hair. She admits that's a lot different. It was a choice versus many of us who do not make the choice to lose our hair, but that's what gave her a heart to help the hair loss community. Why she started offering the $100 discount for those with diagnosed hair loss. I just love that she does that. These, this piece, it's my only experience with her stuff, but this piece is incredible. You guys, I get sent a lot of wigs to review. I'm very, very blessed. I've worked very hard to get to this point, but I'm really blessed to get a lot of wigs sent to me for review. I appreciate that because it allows me to share with you guys so many more resources. Not every wig that gets sent to me is a wig that I love for me, and that's okay. I can only wear so many wigs, but this piece I love. I'm wearing this piece. This piece is going into the rotation. This is a good one, you guys. It really is. And right now on her website, the price, let me untime out my computer, is $780.41 for a beautiful, high quality human hair wig that is likely going to last you at least a year, probably two years. The thing that's always the challenge on wigs like this is the lace. Lace is very delicate. The hair is gonna last you years. It's the lace that you may need to deal with if it starts to fray, but this is really worth it, you guys. Well worth the price, in my opinion. I highly recommend you go check out Eniola and see if maybe she carries a style that you will wear. This may not be your style, but it's not the only style that she carries. Thanks for watching, you guys, and at least go check out Eniola. Show them some love. This is an expense to these companies to send wigs out for review, and I just want to make sure she knows that it got the word out. So let her know that. If you're on social media, drop her a line on Instagram. If you're not, you can send her an email through her website. Let her know that you saw the review and you appreciate her supporting this community through reviews. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. And here's a quick look at this color. Wanted you to be able to see it outside. There's always a little bit of variation in the color on human hair wigs because these are colored by a human being. By hand, there's no mass producing color on a human hair wig. So you will see a little bit of variation, but I definitely know that she's gonna try to get really close. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. Just a quick look at how she air dried. I'm actually wearing her right now, but I've taken no heat to her. This is air dried. Almost forgot to do this. But you know, I always want to show you how these human hair wigs air dry so you know what to expect. Slightly frizzy, very minimal, no waves, like exactly like my bio hair would have air dried. Probably better actually than my bio hair would have air dried. There you go. You guys, oh my gosh, I don't ever share a human hair wig straight out of the box because I don't think they look good out of the box typically. They get really bad box hair. You know when you sleep on your hair, that's what's happening when the wig is inside the box. 
but I cannot even help myself. Look at this. First of all, it is so hard to find a human hair wig with this cut. They're usually so much longer, and while you can get them cut and you should get them customized, it is such a treat when you get a human hair wig and you don't need to do that. Now, I haven't washed her. This is straight out of the box, but I have wanted a wig from Eniola for a long time. I love the pieces that she shows. Look at that hairline. And then you can ship the part this was the part that was put in here, but you can shift the part. Oh my goodness, you guys. You can take heat to it and change that part. I am just absolutely blown away by this. I can't wait. I'm gonna wash her, even though I kind of don't want to mess up with this cute style because I want to see how she air dries. That is something I always show everybody with human hair wigs, and I still need to cut the lace, but say hello to Willow. I'm so excited. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.